Today we're inside the App Store checking out the multiplayer fun for every one game section. And I'm gonna be grading, I'm gonna be ranking, I'm gonna be dropping into a tier list all of these games that are being recommended by the App Store. Are they good? Are they trash? We're about to find out. Let's dive in to the first one. The first one on today's list is Hearthstone. And to be honest with you guys, I'm surprised that it has only 66,000 rankings and that the rankings are so low at 3.8 stars. This is only number 74 in the card rank. We know we're talking about a Blizzard game right now. Let's take a look at some footage. All right, so the graphics are good. You know what you're getting when you're talking about a Blizzard style game. And I mean, this is Hearthstone. Many people know it from the PC version. It was brought over here to mobile and in my opinion is a really solid representation of Hearthstone overall. I actually think this is a really great game. I think it's a must play. And if I were to drop this one right here on a tier list, I would have to give Hearthstone an S tier. You really don't get much better when you're talking about card style games on mobile. Next on the list is League of Legends Wild Rift. And we actually just had this game on our gorgeous games tier list that we put out just a few days ago. 3.1 thousand ratings, 4.2 stars. I was actually surprised on how few ratings there were. This one is an editor's choice and it's a really great game. Again, another one that came from PC, MOBA style. If you like League of Legends on PC, there's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't enjoy it if you're a mobile gamer on mobile. This is essentially a must play game. Probably the leader, if not one of the leaders in the MOBA space on mobile, another S tier game right here. Oh, ho, ho, Badland Brawl, 18,000 ratings, 4.6 stars. This one is a lot of fun and it looks really cool too. As you can see from the gameplay, it's a really cool and fun, light looking game. You have your opponent on the other side of the bridge, you're on one side of the bridge and you need to take down the tower of your opponents. Super fun, Clash Royale style-ish, but at the same time, extremely different. This one is a lot of fun. I would not go as far as to call it an S tier game though. It's one that I've played, enjoy, but it failed to hold my attention long term. So because of this, we're gonna go ahead and give Badland Brawl an A. PUBG Mobile. I mean, need I say more? Probably the number one battle royale action game on mobile right now. I would debate that maybe Call of Duty Mobile was right there as well, but it is a must play. We're looking at the number eight game in strategy, 1.4 million ratings at 4.3 stars. You know PUBG Mobile, right? If you don't, you gotta let me know down below because I gotta know who I'm talking to. So essentially what you're doing inside of PUBG Mobile is you're dropping into a world with nothing and you're battling against all of the other people that drop into the same land. Pick up weapons, get better weapons and upgrades as you go, loot people as you are taking them down because you would win that battle or you could lose yourself and that will be the end. But what you wanna grab is that chicken dinner. This is a great battle royale game. One of the first ones I ever played well, you should try it too. I have no choice but to give PUBG Mobile an S tier. Brawlhalla. How many of you guys know Super Smash Brothers? It's a platformer style game where you are battling with others. Not really shooting or battling with different types of weapons. Brawlhalla was on Steam and still is on Steam and is now on mobile as well. It has been for a while. 17,000 ratings, 4.2 stars. This is a really fun game and it's really done well in my opinion. As you can see, the characters look really good. Some nice cartoony looking character models that they have right here. Tons of players playing the game and different platforms or different stages that you could play on. Of course, you have different game modes as well. A great game if you're looking to play with friends. Again, this is just one of those gameplay styles, the platformer battlers that you probably wouldn't call one that just gets you addicted. This is one that you could really enjoy over time. It's one that you probably will enjoy, but not something that just screams that you need to play it every single day. Look at the number of characters that are here. I would have to go ahead and give this one an A. Pico Tanks. Hmm, a tank shooter game. 8.2 thousand ratings, 4.6 stars on those ratings. So we're talking about a cartoony tank style game. These things are super fun, but they're not the games that you play year after year after year. 
definitely cartoony, cool looking. You could use your emotes, interact with others, but this is one that is just gonna lose that luster as time goes on. We could call that black luster. At the same time, it is a lot of fun. It is something that's gonna be on your phone for a while and you can enjoy it for a while. Pico Tanks. We gotta go ahead and give this one a B tier. King of Crabs, they say, huh? 16,000 ratings, 4.6 stars. This one is just different from all the others. I mean, I like the whole crab theme to it. I like that you battle with your crabs. Uh, again, this is no PUBG Mobile. This is no five years you're gonna play this game, but it is fun. Let's take a deeper look. Now, the art style is definitely on point. The crabs look great. The environments look great. The colors are awesome, and how you battle seems really cool. This reminds me of like that Hungry Shark Revolution style game. It's, it's kind of the same type thing. Now for casual gamers on mobile devices, this is something that's just like right up your alley. You're gonna love it. But for hardcore gamers that choose to game on mobile, this is one that's gonna, again, feel a little bit lackluster. It's fun for the time being, but one that's not gonna be on your phone for the next five years. We're gonna go ahead and give King of Crabs a B. Yeah, you guys know Brawl Stars. I cover it on this channel quite often, and it's a game that I used to do casting for as well when I was working with ESL. 1.1 million ratings, 4.8 stars. Brawl Stars is an amazing top-down shooter. But is it really a shooter? Because not all the characters shoot. It's more of a battler, kind of like Brawlhalla. Again, top-down, many different game modes, 3v3 action, involved in esports, Supercell Games has created this one along with the arsenal of other titles that they play. This is a beautiful, amazing, customizable multiplayer experience. One that in my opinion, everyone has to at least try a free to play game. And again, this one is in the whole category of must play multiplayer games, right? Let's take a look. Yes, so you must play it because this is another S tier. Smash Legends, another action style, really cool looking game. 4.7 stars on 16,000 ratings. Looking at the art style, I'm not in love, but it's not all about art. A lot of it has to do with gameplay style as well, right? The only issue that I have with this one are that there are others in the genre, some that we mentioned just a few moments ago, that do it better. This game is fun. You could definitely enjoy yourself while you're playing with your friends. Again, these are multiplayer games that you must play with friends. I would say this one is gonna have to go down giving a C tier. It's just lacking something. It's not the best in the genre. I mean, Uno is sick. If you like casual card style games, Uno is for you. Now is Uno a groundbreaking game that's going to make your world explode with excitement? No, but is it a casual game that you can play with friends and really have a ton of fun with? Even have some tournaments with? Of course, this is a game that is for those casual gamers. Everyone knows Uno, you know you played with your grandma. This one has to go down as an A tier game just because it's Uno and it's made well here on mobile devices. Rocket Bot Royale, 907 ratings, 4.6 stars. Let's take a look at this one. So let's take a good look at what's going on here. Super casual. It looks okay. Have you played this one? And if you have, Stick up for it in the comments section below because this is gonna be the first one that's not at least on the upper tiers. We're gonna go ahead and give this one a C tier just because it was one of those like crazy, super casual style fun for the first day or two and then you kind of forget about it type of game. Apex Legends Mobile, another great game. If you played Apex Legends on PC or on console, you know that this is one that's incredible. 221,000 ratings, 4.8 stars, but struggling to compete and keep up with games such as Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile. We also have Call of Duty Warzone multiplayer coming on to mobile. It's actually probably here already upon you watching this video. If you've seen it, if you've played it, let me know in the comment section below. Apex Legends Mobile though is really good. So good because it does Battle Royale its own way, its own legends, its own gameplay style. And it really is not just a port from PC, but done in its own way. I think this is an S tier game, just not gonna be as popular as some of the others that have come out before it, like Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile, but still, we're looking at an S tier Apex Legends Mobile. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments section below what games are must play multiplayers for you. Let me know and maybe I'll check them out in an upcoming video. In the meantime, make sure you sub, ring the bell because I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Have a good day guys and be good.